Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. Well, we're going to get straight to the point. Uh, got some things to do to this gold wing. Let's flip this around. Got some things to do to her today. We need to get a hitch installed, a tire changed, and wiring put in for the trailer. So it's going to be a quick process but it's like if I'm going to take everything apart to do the hitch I might as well just yank the tire and do that as well get it all done at the same time so if you want to watch this process move along stick around start the intro Okay, as you know, you got to take this back piece off anyways to put a hitch on. Um, but I, I have to tell you guys, the more accessories that you put on your bike, you know, I got on LED lights on the bottom. The more accessories you put on your bike, the more you're going to have to deal with when you start taking stuff apart. So always keep that in mind. But, and then I got, I don't know how this happened. So I got to get that figured out as well. But yeah, we'll get all this wiring tucked in and when we put everything back together the way it should be. All right, moving along. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, it's just it's just uh, four screws. There's one here, one there, and then there's one that holds my bottom light. It's just four screws. You pull those out and, and uh, there's little rubber inserts, so this part has to, you have to just give it a little pressure to pop it out, but she just comes out. All right, moving along. I got to give them credit. I mean, they wrapped all this stuff in some really good, nice foam wrap. But yeah, let me get this apart. Well, here's all my pieces. Um... I'm going to have to see how this stuff goes together because I don't have no directions. So that's really interesting. I like the ball. It even came with a ball. I was pretty impressed by that. But a bunch of nuts and bolts and the pin for the hitch. So, yeah, we'll have to, I don't know, I guess maybe Google it. Uh, one thing that I noticed is these little foam things, these these are kind of neat. I mean, they do rip relatively easy, but for like a, I mean, you could wrap those around your, your little crash bar here and the one up front, go out and do some s slow speed maneuvers, and if you drop it, at least one time it'll be safe. Anyways, moving along. So I looked up the instructions online, which was good. So had to remove, it says to remove your seat, but I don't think I need to do that just yet. But uh, had to remove the side cover here for the battery. And then we're removing this plastic piece around the foot peg so we can remove this crash bar. So three bolts, no big deal. Moving along. Well, judging by uh, what I read online, this V bracket here has to be removed. And this is this is gonna be a little tricky, but we'll get her we'll get her figured out. Yeah, I sometimes wonder myself what I get myself into. And I don't got my son around David, so I'm improvising. I took my V bar and I wedged it in there to hold that open. There was, it certainly looks a lot different than what it did before. It took a lot of stuff out of there. And what's nice is I'll be able to clean that up while I'm in here too. But yeah, moving along. I'm trying to put these bars in now. Well, we got the one installed, the one side. I will tell you, it was a pain in the butt. I think if I ever do this again, I will just uh, buy the hitch and take it to the dealer and say, well, put this on for me, will ya? Anyways, moving along, see if we can get this other side put on. 
and then put the hitch on. Man, this takes forever. Talk about ripping everything just about off the back of your bike. Excuse me, I'm a little out of breath. I was just tightening these nuts. Okay, so I still got to pull these apart, put my lock washers in. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna install the hitch part now. See how well that goes. Then I think we'll wipe some things out of this because pretty dirty in there okay moving along uh, I recommend if you guys are gonna do this give yourself all day to do it oh my goodness okay there she be I just got to tighten that nut look at how long my gloves are all shredded uh, there she be guys I will say it's not an easy job to do. It was quite difficult. The biggest problem I had was getting the bracket in between that. That was the biggest problem I had. Other than that, I gotta get the crash bar back on. Start putting this thing together. I think at this point what I'll do is I'll uh, just plan on doing the wiring tomorrow. Yeah, it'd be easier. So, that being said, again, guys, that was the, uh, that was the, <laughs> I'm all dirty and been working. That was the hitch install for the GL1800. Uh, that particular hitch, I'll put a link in the description. That particular hitch cost me 180 bucks off eBay doesn't come with directions but you can pull them offline no big deal uh, I do have the wiring to do yet and a couple other things but um, yeah and I got to change the, the swivel on the thing but other than that that's the hitch install it was quite extensive I will tell you uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button and if you like the video that being said, guys, again, if you don't make the choice, the choice makes you. You guys have a good one. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.